So, are your things right there? I've had this mirror in storage for almost two years. I got it back in Arizona for a good deal and uh, haven't seen it in two years. Uh, let's see if the cats can see the reflection. What'd you say? You can say, um, Woye Shi Huan. Woye Huan. Woye. Woye. Say, Wo. Wo. You can't say it like this. Wo. Wo. Ye. Ye. Shi. Shi. Huan. Huan. So you're saying, like, I also like it. I said, I like to drink tea. Oh. And you said, I also like it. Jintian woman chur. Thai guo the fan. Okay. Today we're eating Thailand food. Mm. And uh, it's like a yellow Thai coconut curry. Yeah, so we actually had this last night for dinner, but we felt so bad that we didn't film it because it turned out so good. It yeah. was so good. So we made it again. We made it again because it was so good. We were at the garden and we got the garlic scapes and we just had to show you guys our curry and then add the garlic in it, so. But one thing they didn't see that I forgot is that um, I did add tofu to this. Mm -hmm. So you guys gotta figure out how to cook your tofu. But what I do is I buy extra firm tofu. I'm, I even hate that I just said that. I buy, coming up, we will be growing soybeans and making our own tofu yeah. full time. But for now, I bought this tofu extra firm 
and I put it in a pan with some onion, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic, and then I fry it up till I brown all the sides, and then I add that to the curry. Mm -hmm. And exciting news, we are putting together a cookbook, an off-the-grid cookbook, and we're really excited about it. But so it's not available yet. Not available yet, not for a while, but it's coming soon. Because a lot of people have been asking for a cookbook or recipes, so we're putting that together. What's it gonna be called, like off-grid cookbook? Something like that, yeah. That'd be cool. We haven't really like officially thought of a name, but like off-grid cookbook or Jake and Nicole cooking off grid or Jake and Nicole eating off the grid. Something like that. I'm not sure. Jake and Nicole cooking off the grid. Anyway, let's dot see. com <laughs> dot net dot, <laughs> dot, dot tv <laughs> dot book. I think this turned out better than last night, honestly. Yeah. It looks pretty good. Cool. Hey guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are starting this vlog actually in the middle of the day. <laughs> we just finished up that delicious lunch. It was so, so good. The first half of the day, Jake and I just went on a run and then we stopped by the garden and picked a bunch of stuff and kind of cleaned it up a bit and came here and had lunch. So we picked a bunch of flowers from the garden, borage flowers, nasturtium flowers and stuff like that. And then we also picked some raspberries, oh, so good, and strawberries. We have so many strawberries. They're delicious. So in the last video, you guys seen me make the sun infused rose tea. It was so delicious, so good. If you guys go to my Nicolistic YouTube channel, which the link will be down in the description, I talk about everything that I put in it, all the ingredients and how I make it. It's really simple and it's really fun and it's super delicious. So I made two more batches. I also made a different one. So this isn't rose. This has mint from the garden, borage flowers. It has cistus incarna, which is a type of flower that we got when we were in Portugal. And I honestly, I think that's it. Um, so we'll see how this one turns out. It looks really good. So I'm gonna take these inside and dump them, strain them, and give it a try. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna strain them through this, as you guys have seen in the last video. Um, so I'm just gonna strain it through this. So later on today, Jake had to run down to the cabin, but when he comes back, we're actually gonna work on our next project. Well, we've slowly already been working on our next project, which is the washroom. But before we do the washroom, we have to cut down a bunch of logs. So we're cutting down a buttload of logs and I'm going to be making a shelf, a bookshelf. We have so many boxes. I don't know if you guys can see the boxes back here in the corner. Um, there's tons of boxes, not tons, I'm being a little dramatic, but there's a lot of boxes and we got two new kittens as you guys have seen. If you guys didn't watch that video, go check it out. Our two new little fur babies are so adorable. Um, they sleep a lot, but which is good, I guess. So I'm gonna make a bookshelf because we really need one and we have so many logs and material out there that I'm gonna make it from pretty much from the natural material that we have. So that's what we'll be doing. Jake and I are gonna go out into the woods and pick out a couple trees and then we're gonna plane them. I think that's what it's called. Jake got this cool like wood saw planing that we're gonna make our own shelves. And I'm gonna take some logs, kind of what I did with, um, what Jake and I did with the cat post, how we took the natural wood and we just pretty much shaved it down and to use for the post. So I'm gonna do that for the bookshelf and I'm really excited. I think it's gonna turn out really, really good. So stay tuned for that. But first, let me show you guys the pour. All right, there we go. Delicious borage mint cistu sincarna tea. <laughs> so I had to change my outfit because I'm going outside and the mosquitoes out there are just vicious. So I had to cover it from head to toe, even though it's really warm out today and it's sunny and I wanna feel the sun on my skin, the mosquitoes will eat me alive, like eat me alive. So now I am just gonna go down the driveway and pick the logs that I want for my bookshelf. Jake cut quite a bit already. So I'm gonna see which ones I think are more suitable and I have an idea of how I want the bookshelf to be. Well, let's see. At first I wanted the bookshelf to be like a bunch of crates, like wooden crates, but there's none around here in this area. So I'm just getting creative and I'm gonna use the logs. So now let's pick which ones I want. Okay, so here are the logs. 
This end one right here is the one that we used for the cat post. So honestly, I'll probably use this one and this one for the legs and the siding of my bookshelf. They look really awesome and I'm just gonna shave back this bark. Obviously cut it into the size. Oh look, this kind of looks like a heart. Oh. All right. This is what the siding is gonna look like and throughout the bookshelf. That's really awesome. All right, let's cut our pieces. Okay, here we go into the forest. Hey, you know something? What? This is going to be a thriving garden and fruit tree orchard in less than a year. Yes. And it's actually kind of cool back here. It's super cool back here. Yeah, okay, let's check it out. Just needs to be cleaned up. And all these guys, I'm gonna, I mean, we're cutting them all down. Whoa, the big guy fell. This is the big guy, I couldn't get to fall. I even asked a chainsaw expert, Mark Chisholm on Instagram and he had all these ideas for me, but um, I can't get a car in here to fall it and it just fell in the wind. It was stuck up there in those trees. So sometime while we were sleeping, this guy fell down. Ooh. This is the one I'm gonna build the, uh, the washroom out of, the log cabin. Cool. And then a lot of these guys I'm gonna use for raised beds and other little cabins. So our yurt is right there. So we're just like right in the front. This would be like the front yard. You know when you have like a, a board and you gotta cut a circle and you can't just cut a circle, you gotta drill a hole in the middle and then start from the hole. That's where we are, we're in the hole right now. So we gotta just shave some of these guys down and find out which one you like for the pattern for the indoor furniture. Yeah.
join us next time on Jake and Nicole Living Off Grid as we harvest trees to mill our own wood to use on furniture, deck, and upcoming log cabin. It's live. Welcome back to another mail time.